Hey loves, and welcome to Heart to Heart Love Messages. My name is Crystal. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you are already subscribed here, welcome back. So just a quick message before we get into tonight's reading. Personal readings will be closing on Monday. So if you feel called to receive a personal reading, you can find all of that information posted in the description box below, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. I have a no contact message from your person. I'm going to be pulling from this deck here just to see how your person is currently feeling, how they are currently viewing you and or your connection, as well as any other important messages that they may have for you at this time, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get a very clear and concise message directly from their heart space. Okay, so the first message we have here is 1111. First of all, this is going to be a very, very specific message. Okay, I've tried to record this video a couple of times and I was unable to record it. The footage kept stopping. I kept being interrupted. So I feel like this could be a very, very important message. And the fact that 1111 is coming out lets me know that this is a very powerful connection. Divine Feminine, you're someone who has always been very, very in tune with the universe. But I'm getting that this kind of kicked up once you met this specific masculine energy. And I mean, the universe has been sending you so many signs. And it's almost as if you are at this place in your life where you may be trying to figure out what this means. Of course, 1111 is like the biggest twin flame sign. And it usually shows up on your path when things are a vibrational match, when you and your person are drawn close together, when things are in alignment. But what's very, very interesting is that I am not getting that with this energy right now, okay? I feel like there is something underlying this sign and the universe is trying to tell you something about your person, but the information may be coming to you in a very, very different way, okay? Things may seem one way on the surface. You may be at this place in your life where your connection may be extremely quiet. Nothing may be happening. You may not have heard from this person in a very, very long time. So the fact that you're even receiving this sign may sometimes even be a little triggering because I'm picking up on heavy doubt. So you may even question what these signs mean, why you're being sent these signs, is your person even your person? You know, um, does this mean that you are vibrationally aligned? Are they even thinking of you in the way that you're thinking of them? A lot of confusion could be happening behind the scenes in this connection, but you keep receiving these signs from the universe, okay? So you may definitely be at this place in your life where you're actually questioning the validity of the connection and you're also questioning what it is that you're seeing because I'm getting that not only do you see this sign, you may see 222, 333, 444, literally every single number synchronicity, every hour on the hour. And you're trying to understand what the universe is trying to tell you. And also if this has anything to do with this person, okay? Yeah, there's definitely something happening behind the scenes here. And I feel like the universe is trying to let you know what this is. But this is happening in a very, very different way. Okay. Let's get the next message here. Yeah. The next message we have here is heartbroken. So if you're wondering how this masculine is currently feeling about your connection, about you. I'm just picking up on this energy of someone who has been suffering in silence for a very, very long time, okay? And I feel like ever since there was this disconnect between the both of you, this is something that your person really doesn't know how to deal with. So a lot of the signs that you are receiving is 
it's almost like a corresponding message from where they are vibrationally. So no matter how things may look on the surface, this is definitely a masculine energy that's having a very, very hard time being away from you right now, Divine Feminine. And I'm picking up on this dual energy where the both of you may be receiving these signs. And I'm even getting like something triggering. So the signs may also be triggering the both of you because you don't see much happening in the physical realm. But the energetic bond that you have is very, very strong. You're very, very tapped into one another's emotions on a very, very deep level. There's also something coming through here specifically about the heart chakra. Okay, your masculine may be going through some type of awakening. Your person could literally be going through a heart chakra opening. And although this is beautiful and it comes with a lot of benefits, this is also a very painful process. Okay, because a lot of the emotions that your person has been stuffing down as it pertains to you or the current status of your connection, they're coming up to the surface. And I feel like your person may be at this place right now where they're finally ready to look at this, finally ready to address it. And this may be why the universe is trying to get your attention because the more your person thinks of you, the more you're able to kind of pick up on their vibration in your energy field. So you may be thinking of them a lot. I feel a lot of telepathic communication coming through this as well, okay? Both of you vibrationally, or energetically are very, very in sync at this time. So Divine Feminine, you may be going through this awakening as well, but this could very well be unfolding in two very different ways for you and for this masculine, okay? But the underlying energy here is definitely a lot of heavy, heavy emotions, emotions that have been stuffed down, emotions and things that you didn't get the chance to say to one another a lot of these things are coming to the surface okay and this is why you can feel each other's energies so strongly within your field okay let's get the next message here yeah the next message we have is you're so different now wow Divine Feminine, this is a masculine who has very, very strong opinions about you, okay? And if you were to hear them speak about you or even describe your relationship to someone that they're close to, you may be shocked at how they describe you, okay? This is someone who feels like you have never been an easy person to know, and this is pointing to the way that you carry yourself. I'm getting that when it comes to your heart space, when it comes to love and connection and you really opening up to people, you like to be in control. And this is not in a, a very overbearing, aggressive kind of way, but you are very, very intentional about your space, about your energy. I'm even getting about your spiritual journey. You know, connections and love, all of those things are very sacred, very intimate to you, okay? And I feel like you have sharpened this as time has gone on. So even if you've always been operating in this way, the way that you are appearing right now is almost as if your person feels like there is even more protection around you. You're even more intentional about how you connect with other people around you, okay? And this could be coming off a little bit intimidating. I feel like this is a masculine energy who has always wanted to express to you exactly how they feel, but they don't really know how, okay? The way that they have to navigate this connection with you may be very, very different from how they engage other people. I'm getting you don't just offer information about yourself. So your person, when they speak to you, maybe they had to speak to your subconscious. If you notice that when you were in company with this masculine energy, they will always ask you questions. It almost seems like they would kind of speak to you in code to get you to reveal things about yourself, things that maybe you weren't ready to express, things that you were trying to like slowly um, open up about 
as time kind of went on and you got more familiar with their energy, okay? But now it's almost like you have become this elevated version of yourself. You're showing up way more confident. You may be way more spiritually inclined. Yeah, there's heavy emphasis on how you appeared when your person last seen you or engaged you or spoke to you and where you are now on your journey. I feel like your person is realizing that they may have been in denial about how long you've actually not spoken to them and everything is kind of hitting them at once, okay? This is actually activating their heart chakra the deeper that they go into these realizations that they're having about you, okay? And it's almost as if they're realizing that you're a totally different person now. You may be a different person than the person that they initially fell in love with, okay? But this is what they're basing the physical reality on. So maybe this is somebody who still has access to you visually. Maybe you have, you know, the same friend groups. Maybe this is someone who has eyes on you in some kind of way, maybe through social media. They may still have pictures of you. They may still have some type of memorabilia. I don't know, a text thread, something that brings them back to this place. But it's almost like when they get there, they snap out of it and realize that you are a totally different person now. And that's a scary reality for them because now they feel like they don't know how to approach you, especially when it comes to their emotional expression. Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have here is, I see you in my dreams. This is a very, very high level type of connection here, okay? And this is why you may be triggered. The both of you may be triggered at this time when it comes to whatever the universe is sending your way, okay? Your person is at this place where because they're going through this heart chakra activation, they're experiencing a lot of supernatural things, okay? Now, these things may be very, very normal for you, Divine Feminine, depending on where you are in your journey, but not so much for your person. This is someone who is having very sacred encounters with you in the dream state, okay? And the dream state is very, very powerful because it's a portal. It's like a totally different dimension and it taps directly into the subconscious. This may also be the reason why you're receiving a lot of these signs, specifically 1111, because there's something very powerful happening with your higher selves, okay? It's almost like you're meeting in this sacred space and exchanging information. And when you tap into the dream space, your dreams almost always have to be decoded in some kind of way. It will be presented in a way where you'll see a lot of signs, you'll see a lot of symbols. Um, it could tap into the past, it can tap into the future. I feel like your person is undergoing a lot of powerful activations at this time and it's kind of leading them back to you. But the way that this is happening is very, very weird because it's giving them information that you did not offer up to them, Divine Feminine. It honestly feels like you're getting to this stage in your connection where the veil is lifting, where whatever it is that you're feeling in your heart space is beginning to come to the surface in order for the both of you to heal on a much, much deeper level, okay? And because I'm picking up on dual energy with this, this is someone that you may dream about as well, Divine Feminine, and there's a lot of questions around this. Okay, like I said, it's almost as if once you came in contact with this masculine energy, the universe opened up and kind of showed you something totally different where your dream state may be very, very active. You may see a lot of signs, a lot of things happening where you're tapping into kind of this underlying energy. And this happens a lot in the twin flame dynamic. You literally unlock another side of yourselves. 
And you also have the ability to see things that other people cannot see. So I feel like this is definitely a message from your higher power, you know, from your higher selves, letting you know that the information that you are receiving by way of your dream state is actually real. Okay, so pay attention to this. You'll notice a lot of times within this type of dynamic, there will be a lot of information. You have to pay attention to the setting, um, the telepathic communication. It will oftentimes tell you exactly where your person is or exactly where you are in this connection as it pertains to their feelings, the things that they're hiding, and also your destiny, okay? So your person may be receiving information from you right now, from your higher self, letting them know that you are evolving spiritually, that you are changing right before their eyes. And because they can't reach out and touch you or because there's been so much distance that maybe they feel that they can't pick up the phone and call you or ask you how you've been, it kind of has them feeling a little bit on edge, okay? But your person is definitely receiving updates about you and about your connection by way of their dream state. But I'm getting that you're receiving this information as well, Divine Feminine, okay? And this is definitely playing a very, very huge role in where the both of you are on your journeys, personally and together. Let's get the next message here. Yeah. The next message we have is your eyes reveal the truth. I feel like this is tapping into the communication. Okay. I feel like this reading is really tapping into some type of high level, nonverbal telepathic communication that's happening right now between two very, very powerful souls. Okay. And usually when we're talking about the dream state, the eyes are very, very important. It's like a transmission, okay? It's like an activation of some sort. So I feel like the more that your person is receiving this information about you, the more that they're realizing that you both are still very energetically bonded at this time. And this may be very, very shocking to your person because Somewhere along the journey, this is someone who lost hope. I don't know what happened the last time that you engaged this masculine, the last time that you were in their presence. Maybe things ended very, very abruptly. Maybe things phased out, okay? This could have been a mutual thing with the 1111 here. But there's some type of energetic understanding that the both of you had or the look in your eyes in that last encounter that let you both know that this was not over, okay? And even though you've been away from one another for this long amount of time, your hearts have always been somehow connected and they've been communicating with one another. So the signs that you have been receiving, the synchronicities that you have been receiving have been coming directly from your person this entire time. So if you were second guessing that in any way, you really don't need to. I'm also getting that the very spiritual, because I keep getting spiritual and supernatural, okay? So I feel like this is definitely tapping into something that is very, very rare as it pertains to the way that things are shown to the both of you, okay? You may definitely feel like things are illusionary, especially your dream state. So if your masculine has ever visited you in the dream state, there's a lot of information about what it is that they're going through, where they are within their heart space, even their immediate environment. This could tap into people, places, and things as well, okay? This is the same information that they're getting from you. I feel like there could have definitely been some type of blockage within the heart chakra when you both were in contact where it always felt like there was like this barrier or you never were able to go very, very deep emotionally. And that's kind of bothered you because there's a lot of heaviness that you both have been carrying separately. And you've been picking up on it energetically this entire time. 
because I definitely get suffering and silence, especially with this masculine energy. So this may have been someone who was very, very stoic, very, very unemotional in a way, but things are definitely shifting with their heart space kind of being like cracked open, okay? In Divine Feminine, there may have been a lot of misconceptions about you as it pertains to how this masculine viewed you because they may see you as being very mysterious. They may even see you as being guarded. But I'm just getting that you are very, very rare. The love that you have to give, the, the wisdom, the experience, your very, very essence is very, very rare. And you know that about yourself. And that's why you carry yourself in that way. It's not something that you give freely, you know, to people. Of course, you are a very gentle spirit. You may be very empathic. You may be very loving, very nurturing. But when it comes to like those deep parts of your soul, you're not just giving that away willingly to people. And I feel like you have sharpened that aspect of yourself so much where you know exactly who you are. And I feel like you're in this place right now where you're only open to divine love. You're only open to this. And this is coming across very, very clearly to this masculine energy, okay? So I definitely feel like as you both are going through these heart activations and becoming more expressive and becoming more open with what it is that you feel on the inside, you both are kind of drawing close to one another at this time, okay? And this is why the universe is sending you these signs in the way that it is. Okay, let's get the last message here. Wow. So the last message we have here is, I want more from you. Yeah. You both are on the same page right now. I feel like you both are at this place where you're really, really wanting to have a new experience. This could be why you're seeing 1111 as well, because the vibration of one is over this connection where this is all about new beginnings. It's all about new energy, about your connection being infused with just something different because the both of you are different. This is someone who's realizing that ever since they came in contact with you, they've been healing parts of themselves. There's things that the universe has been showing them about themselves. And that's the thing about the twin flame journey. Once you are in it, once you are initiated in this, there's no kind of escaping this. This is a lifelong journey. This is a journey of you becoming your highest self. It's not something that you can run from. It's not something that you can escape. It's not something that you can turn off. Once this is activated, your energetic body begins to move and things begin to shift and you begin to see things. Okay, and I feel like wherever you are on this journey with this person, you both have seen so much, like so much has been revealed. I keep getting the veil is being lifted and oddly enough, it's making you draw closer to one another. It's like you want more from each other. So the more that things begin to shift in your immediate environment and even in the world on a universal scale, and this is gonna be happening at a rapid rate this year. It's kind of making you draw close to one another, okay? And I feel like this is definitely why you have been seeing a lot of signs. This is the universe's way of letting you know that your higher selves are kind of working together behind the scenes on the mental plane, in the spiritual realm, in the dream state you know, healing things and working through things and exchanging information, even though you are at a distance. That's how powerful this connection is. But this here, this is definitely something very, very rare. And I'm picking up on very high level divine feminine energy. And because you're emanating this type of vibration, your person is equally as powerful, okay? You literally are a reflection of one another. So there are things about each other that you may not know spiritually. 
And I feel like your higher selves are trying to kind of embed you with this information so that things can align more seamlessly in the physical, okay? So if you were wondering why you were being bombarded with signs and sinks and why you were always being drawn to this one particular person when those signs would hit you, it's because they want more from you. It's because they're literally being guided towards you at this time. So even though things may appear to be one way in your world, in your reality, this is definitely tapping into a higher level of information that's being revealed to the both of you in doses by way of your dream state, by way of telepathic communication or just your energetic bond. So definitely trust what it is that you're receiving at this time because it's very, very sacred information. Okay. Okay, loves, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on the way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.